What's good? It's your girl. <laughs> I'm back at it again for lip number five. Today is such a gray day. And coincidentally, I'm wearing all gray as well. So <laughs> I figured it would be really cool to do a super bright blue, colorful, sparkly, shimmery, glittery look. <laughs> and so that's what I'm going to do. I already primed my eyes as per usual, you know. And I'm going to start off by taking a fluffy crease brush <clears throat> that is dirty. So I'm just going to use my damp hand to take off some of the eyeshadow that's on here. And I'm going to go in with a, <clears throat> excuse me, transition color. This is from ColourPop called Cornelius. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to run that through the crease. I've already primed my face and... <laughs> As you can see, I've already got my makeup on, well, face makeup and all of that done. I do have mascara on, so as per my first couple of videos in my makeup lookbook series, we're just going to work around the mascara and the makeup. So once I've run that kind of lazily through the crease, I'm going to go in with this beautiful blue color from ColourPop. I swear, this wasn't meant to be <laughs> every day consistently ColourPop, but hey, you know what? ColourPop is reasonably priced, and so I don't think it's a bad thing that every single tutorial I've used ColourPop. Anyway, this is a blue color called Coconut. The only thing I don't understand them, about them is their names, because it'll be like a blue eyeshadow named Coconut, or like a pink eyeshadow named like a dirt bag or something like that. It just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, I'm taking that blue color and setting that down on my pinky and going over my eyelid. I'm going to avoid the inner third of my eye and primarily focus this on the outer and middle portions of the lid. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. Oh shit. <laughs> So I got that eyeshadow all over my hands already. We're off to a great start. I'm just gonna have a little cookie intermission. And over the crease, I'm going to take a very small uh, fluffy brush, very tapered, petite, cruffy brush, what? <laughs> fluffy brush. <laughs> kind of losing it. I'm really tired. <laughs> but um, I'm going to use this fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this satiny uh, dark blue, almost like a navy blue. We're going to take that and generously, <laughs> generously tap that off. And I'm going to run this through the crease, kind of like a 60s style cut crease. I feel like this is going to be the look that's like one of the more New Year's Eve, New Year's appropriate looks, like a party look. God. <coughs> God. <laughs> ah! There's going to be drama. There's going to be glitter. There's going to be sparkle. There's going to be, you know, it's, it's going to be a look. But I really like pairing super colorful, bold, intense eyes with a very fresh looking natural face makeup because sometimes... Sometimes it's really nice to have like the whole shebang with a uh, fuller coverage foundation and then, you know, like all the contour looking snatched and whatever. Like that's cute, but I feel like it could look really pretty when you've got such party ready eyes and then a fresh face. There's something very chic about that. So for this crease, uh, cut crease, I'm just kind of twisting the brush in my hand, nestling that into the crease and then twisting gently. And that's going to place the color in a more precise way. I'm also flicking this outwards and almost creating like a, a C shape. So it looks a little crazy right now, but we're going to fix it. 
it always looks so bizarre before you do like all the rest of the stuff. <clears throat> anyway, going back into my fluffy crease brush and just blending over that edge. Just making sure it's a little bit softer. Once again, I'm kind of avoiding the inner third of my eye, especially with uh, that darker color, because I really want a lot of glitter and sparkle to come through on the inner portion. So we're just going to leave that alone for now. So for the outer portion of the eye to kind of smoke things out just a teensy weensy bit, I'm taking this matte midnight blue color and that same very small fluffy crease brush, packing that onto the tip and pressing that at the outer corner. Once again, kind of flicking it into that C shape. Now with that same color, same brush, keeping this real simple with the brushes, we're not going to use too many. It's just the fingers and then the two fluffy brushes. Anyways, <laughs> taking that same midnight blue and I'm putting this, focusing this color on the outermost portion of the lower lash line because I'm going to run a different color on the inner third. So the outer third, forward. The outer third, we're keeping pretty dark. So for those inner thirds, I'm taking a blue glitter eyeliner. You can use whichever one you'd like. You can use a different color. I'm going to make this pretty blue. It's going to be a bright blue look. And I'm just going to stack that glitter on the inner third and have it meet up with the darker color on the outer third. So for the upper lash line, I will be doing a liquid liner. Shocking, because for my first four looks now that I've done, I haven't done liquid liner. But this one is going to be extra dramatic, so I'm going to zoom in and do a quick little flick. And now for those inner thirds, I'm going in with a pressed shimmer glitter palette. This is the Fenty Galaxy palette that they released over the holidays. I think maybe last year. Yeah, last year. And I'm going to go into this cobalt blue, put that over top of that ColourPop eyeshadow that I've got on the center, just to amplify that brightness. So we really want that electric color to pop. Ha! <laughs> Color pop! <laughs> oh, and now for the star of the show. <clears throat> I'm taking this very light sky blue glitter. It's so beautiful. And we're going to put this over top of that electric cobalt a little bit and then I'm mixing the two colors together as well just so that there's not too harsh of a divide between the cobalt and then the sky blue. I want to make sure everything is pretty cohesive as a whole. And now the final color that I'm going to put in the tear ducts is also from this Galaxy palette and it's going to be this lighter color. This is interesting because it's a frosty white shade but it has gold and very light blue reflex in it so it will pair perfectly with all the blues in this look. And just for a bit more of a pop I'm going to take that same color and just dab it once very lightly on the center of the lid and then use my pinky to blend that out. Now you could leave it there and be content with the sparkle and the shimmer. However, if you're anything like me and you adore glitter, you crave sparkle. 
I have an option for you. <laughs> if there's any sort of glitter I could recommend to you, it would be the Stila Glitter and Glow, particularly in the shade Diamond Dust. Uh, this is like one of the most beautiful, beautiful glitters. And it's so nice because these don't have fallout. They're basically like a liquid eyeshadow but in glitter form. So what I'm going to do, though you could just apply it straight up from the doe foot, but I'm going to put this on my pinky, so just a little swipe of that. And we're going to just pop that over top of the center of the lid and really go to town with you know getting that shine through like this is this is what I'm talking about like this is this is the type of makeup that I just I just kind of nut over you know it's just so beautiful and <laughs> party ready you know I am focusing that glitter mostly in the center of the lid because I really want it to pop you can spread it towards the inner corners as well just the bit Et voila, that's it for the eyes. I am going to put a little bit more mascara on just because <clears throat> I need more mascara, so <laughs> give me a Zach. Oh my god, it is getting so dark. I had to bring in my <laughs> janky artificial lighting, but at least now you can see what was done a lot better. <laughs> and so, off camera, I did make a few uh, adjustments, add ons. I just highlighted certain parts of my face with concealer because my foundation was looking a little bit rough so we just corrected that and then I added some brow bone highlighter. I tight lined the upper lash line with black eyeliner just so that there's no weird fleshy gaps. <laughs> and so now the only thing left to do is the lips and the highlighter. I'm not putting on blush, I'm not going to contour my face anymore. You of course can do that. You can go full on, full, was that English? No, it was not. <laughs> you can go full on out and do whatever face makeup you prefer. But what I'm going to do is strobe. So I'm taking the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. This is a very beautiful glow kit, but three of these colors are super pink. So mm, it's not my favorite. However, the color that I am going to use. Well, I'm going to mix two colors. I'm going to mix Wish and Magic, which is this minty green color. Oh, I said green, so gross. Green color. <laughs> this mint green with this beautiful peach champagne. And where's my mirror? We're just going to strobe the, the out of the face. So just put on a shite ton of highlighter. For the lips, one would expect a neutral lip to pair with a blue eye. One could also do a red lip. Uh, brown would look excellent, very elegant. But you know what? I want to go all out. Like, I want to take it there. I want to, you know, um, channel the inner darkness of midnight. So, what I'm going to do is a sparkly black lipstick. <laughs> I mentioned this in my video yesterday and I'm going to use it today. So <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. If you have a navy blue lipstick, oh my god, <laughs> please feel free to put it on with this eye, eye look. Um, slay the game, if you will, with <laughs> all blue everything. I used to have a dark blue lipstick until I realized that I look ridiculous with dark blue lipstick on. So instead, I choose to wear black lipstick because I'm emo. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by lining my lips with a black lip liner. It will get messy. It will get sloppy if you don't put on a liner before. You can even use black eyeliner, but make sure you line your lips first.
So the only thing with black lipstick is that you will most definitely get butthole lip, but just line as best as you can and own the butthole lip when it shows up, you know? So now I'm going in with my black liquid lipstick. This is from Sugar Pill. And this is the color Trick. This is from the Halloween duo that they did. Unfortunately, you cannot get this anymore. However, any black liquid lipstick or a black uh, bullet lipstick will do. You can add some glitter over top that way. It doesn't have to be this one, but this is the one that I have. So just going to go over that. Yes. And now for the added drama, I'm going to take that same glitter and glow from Stila, that silver, silver boy. And in the very center, I'm just going to highlight. Oh my god. Like, I feel so fucking beautiful. <coughs> god, I'm gonna damage my vocal cords doing that. <laughs> but this is the finished look, and honestly, this is what makeup is about. Like, just putting sparkly shit all over your lips and your face and your eyes and just clowning around. That's, that's what it's about. It's fun and you don't need to have a hundred palettes and all these different things to achieve this look. These are just, you know, like the steel and glitter go, <laughs> glitter go, Jesus, <laughs> glitter and glow is beautiful and although I would recommend it, it is not the most affordable uh, glitter out there so you can definitely you know do you substitute with whatever you've got make it work but this is this is like <laughs> creativity in its peak <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you'll use it for a New Year's party or you will decide one day that you want to be a bad bitch and put on cobalt blue sparkly eyeshadow and black glittery lipstick and go get groceries like live your life do you and own the look so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow for look number Jesus, what is it now? Six? Seven? I don't even know. We're just... <laughs> we're wasting time and electricity and rolling with it. So, I will see you in my next one. Ciao.